Howdy, once again, my DIY nomads. How are you guys doing? I hope you're doing really well. I'm back in the van and I'm happy as hell. Um, now, I'm going to try and conquer the roof. And I'm gonna try and keep this cladding going all the way around. So, annoyingly, obviously, in certain areas, there are splits. Now, what I'm gonna do with the roof is, there's what I've done is I've marked on the insulation, these are where the ribs are gonna be. These are where the ribs and the roof are, where I can drill in without obviously going through the roof. Um, now, what I'm gonna do is lead them from the front to about this rib here, and then I'm gonna take them from the back and also go, and I'm gonna stagger them so that the split is staggered. Now, the reason for this is A, it looks neater, but also, it provides more support. So instead of them all just coming to this rib here and then meeting, like on the wall here, um, as you can tell from this, they're not supporting each other. So when they're staggered, when the split is staggered at different intervals, that's gonna make the whole structure a lot stronger. So that is what I'm planning on doing without rambling on too much. Before I get started with the roof, I just wanted to point out that there are a few ways to get cladding mounted in your van. Obviously what I've done is I've created some wood panels that are up behind and I screwed the cladding to that and I've used screws to screw that. Now you can use cladding clips as one of my subscribers pointed out. Thank you very much for that tip actually. Um, now the advantage of cladding clips is that you don't see the screw heads, like they're up, well, you don't use screws, so you don't see any screw heads, it just looks like it's hovering there, which is very, very nice. I can see the appeal. Um, I've obviously done this with screws and I can't vouch for cladding clips. I wouldn't really know how they work or how reputable they are, but definitely something to look at. So check them out, make your choice. I must admit that there was a worry that there was moisture would build up on the heads of the screws and leach into the wood. I've never experienced that issue with the Ford Transit Custom, so I've just gone ahead with using screws. Now what I've done for the roof is I've used these self-tapping sort of steel screws and they're very low profile on the head. And I'm just going straight into the ribs, as you can see, marked them out here. I'm just going through the cladding, straight into the ribs. So very, very useful. The expression, so close, yet so far comes to mind. I've just run out of cladding. <sighs> hmm. Not cool. I think I literally need one and a half packs worth. So it's getting to the end of the day. I'm not gonna be able to get to Builders Merchant in time. So I'm gonna pack up. This will be something to finish tomorrow. We're back. We've got more cladding. I've got some more wood. Let's finish this roof off. I'm starting to learn that cladding a van is great for 99.9% .9 of the job until you have to come to finishing it and it becomes one of the biggest pigs in the world. So currently, I've filled in this area and I would use longer pieces and take it all the way across, but the problem is here, the wood's starting to flex out 
and that means that there's like a dual curve so it's not just if I try and put a whole piece of cladding it's not just trying to curve like lengthways like that it's also trying to curve widthways as well which be basically means that I can't get it perfectly lined up so I'm gonna have to use smaller pieces and segment them along but what I'm gonna do is I've mounted this bit in the corner now so that I can fit the garage wall and that's what I'm gonna do now and I'm gonna sort out that area later So as you can see guys, I've got this first bit of ply going in and this is going to be the first bit of the divider that makes the garage. Basically, as you'll probably be able to tell, it isn't a perfectly straight square so I can't just slot in a piece of ply into the back and it works because obviously I've got this curved edge around here and obviously the roof isn't perfectly flat so we've got curves to play with and curves are tricky sometimes. Now the way that I am getting an accurate cut is I'm taking it down very slowly initially just so I can get the corner in and I can get it quite close but as you can tell like the top there it's all fine curves around and then we've got this gap it's all the way down the side I'm taking a bit of extra plywood that I had left over and I'm putting it against sort of 90 degrees to the wood against the wall there and I'm lining up my pencil with the absolute edge of the ply there and then what I'm doing is I'm going up and I'm holding it in place and I'm trying to keep it as level as possible and I'm just following it up, following it up and what you do is you get a line that is spaced out that basically is a very accurate edge which means that once I cut that off it should slide up against the wall and be all flush or plumb, I forget which is the correct terminology and then now that I've got that line at the top corner where it starts to go round again, I'm trying to taper it off a little bit. Just so that, uh, obviously, because if I keep following that line around, I'm going to make it too short against the roof. So it needs to taper off around the corner as it gets to the roof. Oh yeah, and don't worry about this gap. It's just uh, where some cladding has come unwedged. I am going to put it back and sort it out. There you go, guys. Nice and flush with the edge. Perfect. Well, I've just put in these sort of support rods just for now, just to see what it looks like. But basically, I'm making a partition wall, as you guys know. Um, I'm just running out of time in the day. It just the time just goes so fast. I really need to pack up. I really want to finish this, but I can't. I don't have enough time, which is really annoying. I just don't have the time, so I'm really sorry for the short video today. Hopefully what I'll get done in the next video is I will finish off this wall finally. And I'm also going to try and go around the edge. You see where this bit of sunlight's peeking through? I'm just going to use a bit of sealant seal that up um, and then we can start looking at getting the utilities in here start really finishing off so until next time my DIY nomads I will catch you later